Hello everyone, today we will study solar system and this PDF is from book of standard third. Yes, so let's study the sun's family. This is science and technology. Yeah, I like this. Also. Identify the members of the sun's family. Just like we have family, the sun also has family. So this is the big sun, okay? And the planet which is close to sun is called Mercury. M E R C U R Y. This planet is named after the speedy messenger of the god. It is closest to the sun. Okay? And this the next next one is what? This is this is uh, Venus. V E N U S. It is similar to the earth in size. It is also known as the morning and evening star. So, which is the morning Look, star? It is the same size. Yes. Which is the morning star? Venus. Evening star? Venus. Venus. Which is closest to the sun? Mercury. Yes. The next one is this one. What okay. is it? E? E A R T H. We live on this planet. Water is found on it. After Earth comes. Um, Mars. 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 M. M A R S. This planet is also known as the red planet. So, which is the red planet? Uh, Mars. Very good. And what are planets? We live yeah. on the Earth. Our Earth is a planet. There are eight planets and all of them are the members of the sun's family. So what next? Next come this one. What is this? Jupiter. J-U-P-I-T-T-E-R. Very good. It is the largest of all the planets. It is big enough to contain more than 1000 Earth. Wow, that's very big. Interesting, na? 1000 Earth Ooh. can be put in Jupiter. So it's such a big planet. Which is next? After five six, Saturn, S A T U R N. It is the second largest planet. It is surrounded with rings. Amazing, right? Yeah, after Jupiter is Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet and it has rings. What after Saturn? It's so beautiful, the ring. Yes. After Saturn? After Saturn is uh, the Uranus. U-R-A-N-U-S. Uranus. Uranus. It is, it is bluish green in color. Bluish green in color. It is? Bluish green in color. Very good. And after Uranus? Neptune. N-E-P-T-U-I-U. U. N -E. N E. It is blue in color and it is the farthest from the sun. Which is farthest from the sun? Neptune. Wow. The, can I say this? Wow. The sun is what? Uh, one four five five. One tens hundred thousand ten thousand. Wow. That's a lot. Have you not studied uh, this much? No. no. So let's study. Uh, let's read it like it is so far from the earth. Yeah. Because you are in standard 3 now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> From the earth is and the diameter, diameter of 30, 90, 940 kilometer. kilometer. Funny fact. Thomas Stafford, John Young and Jean Garnard were the crew members of NASA's Apollo 10 mission between 18 to 26 May 1969. They were the first men to shave in space. So they went to space and they were the first men to shave there. <laughs> First man in space, first man on the moon, and first woman in space. This is Find out. Hard. This, this is, is your first homework. Woman, first woman in space is this girl. So let's look at the picture. Wow, this, this is the, the sun is so hot. So this is Mercury. Venus, Venus. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Saturn. But where is Pluto? No Pluto. So look here. Our solar system. As you look at a clear sky. Clear night sky, many, many stars can be seen. The stars are millions and millions of miles away. But Earth's closest neighbor resides in the solar system. The solar system is the sun and the objects that travel around it. What is the solar system? It is the sun and the objects that travel around it. The sun is a star similar to other stars in the sky. But it is much closer to the Earth. The sun is mostly a big ball of gases 
which include hydrogen and helium. So what gas are they in sun? They hydrogen, hydrogen and, and helium. helium. I don't know this one. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury. Following the hottest planet is Venus. Which is the hottest? Venus, but sun is also the hottest. Sun is not a planet. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The path the planet take when traveling around the sun is oval shaped. And it is called an orbit. Uh, it's it called is, its orbit. Each planet takes different... Each, what is this called? Orbit. What's the spelling? O-R-B-I-T. Each planet takes a different amount of time to orbit the sun. For example, it takes the earth about 365 days to orbit the sun. So when it is orbiting around the sun so how many days the earth takes 365, 365 days and long. so our one year is how many days 365 yes so earth is taking 365 days now look at this a year around the sun using earth's time the following shows the length of the year on each planet which is the same as the time it takes to make one complete orbit around the sun so this is sun and one complete orbit, how much time it takes. So how much time Mercury takes? 24. No, it's not. 28. 28 kind of to me. It's hazy. Yeah, but it's more, for me it's not. It's like 29. 88 days. It is 88, not 28. And for how much does Venus take? 224 days. Earth takes 365 days. Mars takes 687 days, Jupiter takes 11.8 years, Saturn takes 23.5 years, Uranus takes 54.3 years, Neptune takes 165 years. So long. Okay. The Neptune is so long. The Neptune is over. Because its uh, orbit is also long. It has to uh, have make... Uh... This is just like science. Yes, this is science and this is decay. So in uh, here they said no, yeah. science and technology. This is just I, science and I technology. Like I want to be a scientist when I grow up. Very good. So the uh, the farther the planet is from the sun, the longer it takes to orbit the sun. Okay, this is it. It is taking longer time to orbit because it is far. The quiz list the order of the planet from closest to the sun to the planet farthest away now you say the answer okay mercury venus earth Mars, jupiter saturn uranus and neptune now you say it slowly mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune very good what is the spelling of neptune n-e-p-t-u-n-e what is the spelling of mercury mercury and M V E R C U R Y. What is the spelling of Mars? M A R S. Uranus. Uranus R U R A N U S. Very good. List the planet that have rings. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Very good. Say it again. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Very good. Why is Pluto? Why is Pluto not considered a regular planet in our solar system? So we, you were asking where is Pluto? So the answer Pluto is... Pluto does not always have its own orbit. It sometimes shares Neptune. Okay. So it does not always have its own orbit. It sometimes shares Neptune. That's why Pluto is not included in the list. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. What's the spelling? J-U-P-I-T-E-R. Can you tell it loudly? J-U-P-I-T-E-R. Very good. What does the term perihelion means? Perihelion means closest to the sun when the planet is revolving around the sun in an elliptical orbit. So what is perihelion? It means closest to the sun when a planet is revolving around the sun in its elliptical orbit. So this is perihelion. Means closest. Which is the um, closest to sun? Perihelion. Mercury. Mercury is closest. Okay. So, perihelion means closest to sun when the planet is revolving around the sun in uh, elliptical. So, Mercury is closest to the sun. Now, when you just look at this diagram, okay. When Mercury is very close to sun, this is its perihelion. Now, when it is in a, this position, it is very far. This is elliptical orbit. Elliptical is like this, right? Like this. So, in this point, do you, you don't understand? Okay. I understand. Just look at this orbit like I am showing you. This one. Okay. 
So at one point of time, when it is the closest to the sun, this is the perihelion. Now do you understand? Very good. What does the term aphelion mean? Aphelion means the farthest from the sun when a planet is revolving around the sun is an elliptical orbit. Elliptical orbit. Aphelion means farthest from the sun when a planet is revolving around the sun in an elliptical orbit. So ellipse is like this elliptical orbit. Now when the, uh, the planet is farthest from the sun, it is called aphelion. What is called? Absolutely. Very good. What does making a model to scale means when we refer to making a model of solar system? The size, the size of the solar system. Study. No, this is another question. So, yeah, you have not, uh, you don't need to do this. Okay. That's why I have not included the whole thing. So, let's come here. Constellation are patterns of dash against the sky. Star. Constellation. Okay. Constellation, a pattern of stars against the night sky. The dash is the center of solar system. Sun, the Sun. air surrounding Earth is our dash. Sun. Meteors are objects that turn uh, that dash up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. Sun. Burn. The dash Sun. is the only dash close enough for us to study. The Sun. Is, Sun. is the only star. close enough for us to study. This is the closest star. Natural Sun. satellites that orbit Bodies in space are called dash. Moon. Moon. Okay. Uh, what is the natural satellite which orbit bodies is in space called? Moon. Moon. The dash separates the inner and outer planet. Asteroid belt. A-S-T-E-R-O-I-D. B-E-L-T. Asteroid belt. Separates the inner and outer planet. This is for advanced students. It's not class 3. But still I am telling you this. So that you have it in mind. And when it is being taught in school, then you understand that, yes, I have read it earlier. Okay. The sun and all the objects that orbit around it is the solar system. Solar system. S-Y-S-T-E-N. Lumps of ice, rock, frozen gas and dust that orbit the sun are C -O -M -E -S -S. Comets. comets. So we will read this when we go to higher class. Okay. But like you, six, ten, seven. Yes. You just need to know the name. What is comets? If someone is talking about comet, so you know that that is a lump of ice, rock, frozen gas. Actually, it is a gas, but it is frozen gas and dust that orbit the sun. Okay? This is also orbiting the sun. Comets also orbit the sun just like planets. Dash is unit. Dash is the unit used to measure distance between object is in, in space. It will be in space. So how will you measure like in in light year in world we are measuring with kilometer centimeter liter like this is the measuring unit, but when we measure the space then we use it in light years. Okay, light year. Tell me, light, light year. year. The asteroid belt is located in space orbiting the sun between the planets. So where can you see the asteroid belt in between Mars, Mars and, and Jupiter? Jupiter. Where? Mars and, tell it loud, Mars and Jupiter. Mars and Jupiter. Very good. The curved movement of object in space around another object in space is called orbit. orbit. Dash is the closest planet to the sun. Mercury. Venus is Earth's dash planet. Sister planet. So which is Earth's sister planet? Venus. Very good. So did you enjoy it? So this is, now this is fun time and you will now tell me the answer. So this is an or orbit, which is, what is this one? Sun. Very good. So this one Mercury. is Mercury. So here, here you will write Mercury. What will be the spelling? M-U-R. M-E-R. M-E-R. C-U-K-U. Mercury. Very good. Next. Is that Jupiter? After Mars, uh, Mercury? Venus. Hmm. V-E-N-U-S. After that? E A R D H. After that, I don't know. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, huh. V A R S, huh. Jupiter, J U P I T E R. Then Saturn, S A T U R N. Then N E P Neptune. No, no, no. Neptune, no, not Neptune. Uranus, U R A N U S. Neptune, N E P T U N E. So today, after the class, you will draw the solar system and then just remember the color code also. These two are blue. This is dark blue. This is light blue. This one is orange. This is reddish orange. This is red. Actually, this is the wrong color. 
yes you but you when you draw you draw it like this and this one is earth blue and green this and is, this is green this like this and mercury and then this is sand very good and then you'll draw and then you'll show me okay thank you for attending the class this is activity do you, uh, have you enjoyed listening to this yeah. have you enjoyed learning the solar system yes okay bye 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 thank you subscribe subscribe to that uh, tell the notification to bell to see our new videos